So, Morty's Mind Blowers, what an episode. We've had two of these improv episodes before with the interdimensional cable setup. However, I really feel with the latest reveal that there is an underlying story arc going on in this season that we are still potentially seeing some connective tissue at play. Why do I say this? Well, the episode is basically a series of short scenarios, memories that have been removed from Morty's mind, whether these are horrendous memories he wished to remove or they are things his family would want removed, such as Rick being laughed at by Morty when he says taken for granite instead of taken for granted. The beauty of Rick and Morty running an episode like this is it allows the creators a chance to include short ideas that potentially would never make it to a fully fleshed out episode. However, rather than an interdimensional cable episode, they have done it in the guise of Morty's memories, which further adds to the characters we know and love. Rick has removed countless memories from Morty without any guilt for his actions, and as we see, a lot of these removals were for his own personal gain and preserving his own image as the genius scientist he is. It also builds off the slow deterioration that has been happening across this season. We have seen Morty slowly become more and more twisted, showing more contempt for his grandfather than ever before. Again, are we seeing Rick and Morty Prime, or has this been an episode that could later be revealed to have been Evil Morty's perspective? Or is this something that happened to Evil Morty, tipping him over the edge and finally killing his grandfather in a moment of absolute rage? I wouldn't be surprised if this is something that gets revealed further down the line. This whole episode, though a series of shorts, is very different to the Cable ones and would easily fit into the overall narrative that seems to be at play. The memory removals start out harmless and we can understand why they were removed. Then they progressively get more and more twisted, showing his family's lack of care and love for him, even to the point where Beth would choose Summer to be saved over Morty from an evil alien overlord. We see multiple lessons that our adventurers could have learned from, and this even gets questioned by Morty, to which Rick replies in his usual fashion about not needing to learn from mistakes. We also get a slight fourth wall break where Rick states it's a free form anthology, showing he is aware of what the show is. One of the funniest memories and perhaps of equal importance as well is when Rick creates something for Morty to listen to animals, translating their speech into English for him. Everything seems fairly normal until Morty listens in on squirrels, showing their hyper-intelligence and apparent control of the world, shaping and influencing it. Morty runs home and Rick reveals that they now have to move dimensions. So although we don't know when this memory took place, we do now have confirmation that Rick and Morty have moved dimensions once again. Whether this was before or after the time we see them burying themselves in the back garden isn't clear. Overall though, this was a great episode, some hilarious shorts, funny ideas that were obviously thrown around before and never made it to a full story, but again, I can't help but think this is still part of an overarching story for Morty. Developing his character further and fleshing out the reasons for his eventual break from sanity. But what did you guys think of this episode and what was the funniest moment for you? Do you think this could potentially be part of the character arc we have seen developing? Let me know down below in the comments section. I've been Mr. H and until next time, I'll see you in the comments.